welcome back to the Styles UK YouTube channel. We are back with another Artworking for Heat Transfers episode and I'm super excited for this one. One of the most common issues we see with heat transfer artwork is backgrounds not being removed or your files not being transparent when your orders are placed. So today, Dane is here to show you how you can remove black line artwork off of a white background to make your heat transfer designs print ready every single time. <laughs> Hey everybody, Dane Clement here with Stalls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove artwork off of a background, right? So, um, and I'm going to be using a Wacom tablet, well actually a Wacom Cintiq, which is um, my monitor here that I'll be drawing on, but if you don't have one of those, one of these will work really nice. It's just a Wacom tablet, very small, very inexpensive. Uh, this is the one I travel around with wherever I go and when I'm not at home. <laughs> so. Um, I'll be using my mouse mostly, but every now and again, I will take my pen and draw on the screen. So if you see that, uh, just know what that's about. Um, if you want to check one out, those are great tools, man. Really, really good tools. So, all right, let's, let's go ahead and dive in. So here we have uh, a black line drawing on a piece of paper. Uh, it's flattened. It was just scanned in uh, to the computer. Um, my studio happens to have a whole lot of these laying around and created over the years. Um, and there's a special technique that I like to do to remove the white in this image. Uh, and it's going to, it's, it's super easy, but it's going to require a couple of steps. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to come over here and unlock it just by clicking on the lock on that layer and it will unlock that particular layer. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the plus sign. It gets us a new layer. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pick me a neutral color. I don't care what color hue you want, right? I just want something neutral like that. And I'm going to fill this layer. So if I go to, I can go to edit fill, um, and I can fill it with my uh, foreground color rather, and I hit normal and there we go. So I'm just going to take this layer. And now if you look at my layers, move it behind or underneath the artwork itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the actual artwork layer. Okay, now we're ready. So I'm going to come down here inside my layers panel to the FX icon here. I'll click on it. I'm going to go to blending options. And then I'll get this window. Now what this is, this is a, um, a blend if slider that I'm looking for. And I want to get to the top one. And I'm going to grab the white triangle since I want to remove the white background here. So I'm going to kind of move it over. Uh, and watch what happens. When I click on it and I start dragging, as soon as I move it off that end point, it wipes out white, but I'm going to come out to about here. I don't know, maybe 20% here. And what I want you to see is if I zoom in, you see these, these are the anti aliased pixels, right? They're still got some white in there. So we're not really ready to start working on this thing yet because I want to clean that stuff out of my image before I start working. So the cool thing about this, um, this blend if slider, there we go. Let's go back up to it. <laughs> I lost it there for a second. So I'm going to come here. And now if I hold my option key on my Mac or the alt key on your PC, I can split this little triangle off. And now when in doing so, I can move it way down here and get rid of all the white stuff that you saw a second ago is no longer there. If I would have moved the whole entire slider all the way over, then it would have really gave me some stair steps and horrible edge treatments on my image. But right now my image is like it's supposed to be. It just has no white anti-aliased pixels in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now if you notice, look at my layer. My layer has this two little squares kind of overlapping. That's just sort of uh, indicates that I did something to it, right? There's a blend mode assigned to it or a blend option done to it. Now, in order to fix it, what I'm going to do is create a, I say fix it, not really fix it because nothing's broke. Uh, but what it is doing, it is saying something is, you just did something and I'm not quite ready to move on. Let's put it that way. So if I click on new layer and I put it underneath my artwork layer, right? And I, I click on my artwork layer one more time. If I go to the fly out menu, what I'm looking for is this right here. It says merge down or that command or control E. Uh, that's a shortcut that I use all the time. So if I do that, I just merged the artwork layer with a clean layer underneath it. And you notice there is no more little icon there, right? So it's good to go. Uh, now, if I wanted to, I can start painting on a layer underneath this guy because it's just my black lines. Um, and this is my go-to every time 
to remove black line artwork off of a whiteboard. So if you've got a bunch of tattoo sketches or something in your sketchbook and you want to do it, this is the way I like to approach it. So in the next video, I'm going to use an AI artwork uh, and we'll talk about something similar. And there you have it, one of the most important steps when creating artwork for heat transfers. And thanks to Dane, you're now all experts at it. Don't forget to head online to custom.styles.co.uk to order the world's number one heat transfers with the UK's quickest turnaround time. And don't forget to like and subscribe for the next episode of Artworking for Heat Transfers, coming to you in just two weeks' time.